Hello, everybody, and welcome back to part three. So... I know. He might have gone to the Cape to pick flowers. Okay, so that's a good thing about this one. They kind of give you little context clues where to go next and all that junk. Even though there is... Where is it? That. Have you seen Luffy set? Nope. Can't say that I have. All right. Let me know the second you see him. Got it. Is he in bad shape? Well, he refuses to stay in bed. He needs his rest, but he's always walking around or reading outside. I can't say I'm surprised. He's always been a curious lad. He likes reading difficult books. When I saw him the other day, he told me all about the latest navigation techniques and exotic farming methods, too. Only one kid in a million is as smart as he is. You're exaggerating. Well, maybe not. It's a shame. If he could go to school in the capital, I'm sure he'd make a name for himself as a scholar. The capital? Isn't that days and days by ship from Taliesin? No way. Not happening. Even if he gets better, I could never let him go that far away all by himself. He can handle it. He's actually a very responsible boy. I don't think you need to worry. I couldn't handle it. I would worry. And be lonely. Lonely, lonely, lonely. The first Scarlet Knights. Oh yeah, everything's gonna be fine. Ain't nothing bad gonna happen. Hey Velvet, did you hear the news? Tonight is going to be another Scarlet Night! I remember the moon turned red seven years ago. But what is it anyway? It's a red lunar eclipse. It happens every several years or so. Apparently, you can predict the next one by watching the movements of the stars. According to legend, a crimson moon is a gate that connects our world to the next. It's also said to be proof of humanity's sins. You sure know a lot about it. Luffy said taught me, just a few minutes ago. You saw Luffy? Where'd he go? Actually, I don't know. Sorry. Aww. Useless. If you're gonna help look, you should probably, I don't know, move from that same exact spot you've been standing in. Taking a break. Oh, you little. You know better than this, Luffy said. Running off without telling me. What if something happened to you? You wouldn't be the only one hurt. Do you understand that? I'm sorry. If you want to do something, just ask. I know I'm a crummy big sister, and I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, that's not why I went out. You see, it was just... I get it. You're right. I forgot the flowers for the graves. Yeah, so I was going out to the Cape, and I thought... You want to see the ocean too, don't you? Well, yeah, that too. Fine. Just for today, though. Are you sure? I am. But next time you run off like that, I'm strapping you to your bed. Yes, ma'am. Good. <laughs> it's off to the Cape, then. Hooray! Uh, 
Remember how we went out together to pick Princessias on the morning of Selica's funeral? Yeah. I was only four, but I remember. We couldn't find any in the village or at the keep. Right. Because the demons had made a mess of them. And then you suddenly started climbing down the edge of the cliff. You ran over and grabbed me. You had the scariest look on your face. Of course I did. Do you have any idea what I'd do if I lost you too? You'd still have Arthur. He'd help you. He'll help the world. He's right, quite the it. guy. That's probably true. But I'd still miss you like you wouldn't believe. I know. I'm sorry, sis. But down the cliff from where you were, a lone pair of Princessia were blooming. I remember. A gentle breeze came in. And it smelled like Celica. That's right. That's why I believe those flowers were a message from her. Do you know what Princessia flowers signify? Uh, an irreplaceable treasure, and wishes for good health for many years to come. Right. And that sums up my feelings nicely, Luffy. Yeah. Me too, sis. Sheesh. Well, at least the USB isn't making that stupid How noise How about I anymore. make you some apple boo when we get home, Luffy? Apple boo? What's that? Grated apples. Whenever I caught a cold when I was little, Celica would make it for me. It's sweet and tart and juicy and crisp. Eating it always made me feel better. Well, apples are good for you. But what does the boo mean? When I was a baby, I would always say boo-boo when I wanted to eat an apple. <laughs> so that's where the name comes from. Wait, you called apples boo-boo? You must have been a strange baby. You used to do the same thing. When Selica and I heard you, we laughed so hard. Boo! Oh, dodge. <laughs> These items just respawn? Come here, bitch. Right, here goes! This place never changes, does it? It does too change. The seasons, the wind, the weather. Change one and the sea's totally different. And the same goes for what lies across the sea. Across the sea? Sometimes I just don't know what you're talking about. Hey Velvet, thank you for taking me out here today. You don't need to thank me. He's waiting for them to die. Hey, Luffy. Do you know why it is that birds fly? Well, if they didn't, they couldn't catch food. Or escape from predators. Thought so. But you know, I think there's more to it than that. A bird that's born with wings has to... Uh. Learn to fly high. A demon! I still... Lottie says, think... run! No matter how much it hurts, run! I still say Velvet? those things like Zoroark. Don't be scared. You can do it. You're going to be strong, like Arthur. No, you can't! Here. It's time to duel! I don't want to go alone! You have to! Don't let your feelings get in the way! Or that thing will kill you too! Please! Go! Oh. 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 
to me. Your old one broke, right? You've got beautiful hair. It would be a waste if you didn't take care of it. Weird. I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. Inspiring. Was that... was it all a dream? No, it wasn't! <coughs> oh, it's his comb? I don't know. Uh oh, the music changed to impending doom. I should probably make a beeline for it, but... Even in these times of crisis, there's always like some little secret somewhere. Usually. There was a chest here. Fuck, I totally oh. forgot about it. Wait, the there village. it is. I might need this later. Actually, you know what? This is still out. I remember how to do that. Okay, um. That's a save point. Can't go this way. Shit, Why woman, then fucking. Oh, 
Come on. Now I'm looking for all the treasure and shit. That's not so tranquil anymore, is it? Don't give up. Never give up. Never there surrender. There's a demon here. Oh, the fucker! Okay, I literally can't see shit. And I've been this is like the third time I've been through this forest and I still don't know where I'm going. More Zoro Orc! We're the scoop! Scary red moon. Velvet. That's a good idea. You. Oh, thank goodness. You kept Luffy safe, didn't you, Arthur? One more sentiment to cast off. Velvet, run! Arthur! Uh. I thought she was catching on fire. Here, once. Was the seal to the underworld broken? And tonight, here shall be born the power to save the world. With Lucas's life as a sacrifice. What? What are you saying? had that look on his face. Let him go. This is an offering to the world. Nothing can save him now. No, no, no! I see you have not changed. Ever a slave to emotion. Aren't we all?
summon the dragon? through the village. But do not fear. With oh, no, my they're power as an exorcist. <laughs> I, Artorius Colbrand, will end your pain. Is it that birds fly? Behold my answer, Velvet. Arthur. I ask no forgiveness. The sin is mine to bear. So did my world come to an end. And for three long years. She's been trapped there for three years. I sat in that pit of darkness and fed. Devouring demons. So I could live. So I could live long enough to kill him. And be my brother's vengeance.
Yep. Some kind of dungeon. Where is he? First, there will be a test. It will decide if you are worth teaching. That's funny, because I actually do have a test tonight. Huh. What do you think I've been doing this entire time? Burning wings! I've done it like five times. What the hell do you want? Burning wing! Burning wing! Burning wing! Ah. Here I come! Whatever you are not, SG. I will kill you. Ready yourself. Come on! Burning wing! Right that bitch! What the hell does she have? Oh. Dashing buttons it is! Burning <laughs> wings! Why are you holding back? You noticed. Well done. You pass. Of course. His Moloch would never be so weak as that. I am his Moloch no longer. <sighs> First, let me tell you what has transpired these past three years. There are exorcists now, throughout the land, challenging the reign of demons with the help of... Tell me. Tell me where Artorius is. You may find him in the capital city of Logris, in Midgand. You won't stop to listen. I can tell you what it was you saw that night. That night, the ritual he performed shifted the very course of the world. A host of Malachim descended, and with their strength, the emergent exorcists quelled the demon tide. Now, he serves as leader of the Exorcist's Abbey, an institution that enjoys the unconditional faith of the kingdom and public. A shield to guard the people, and a sword against demons. Artorius Colbrand, the world's savior. With power <laughs> stolen by sacrificing Lafisat. He's still Indeed. alive. But his power is not yet absolute. The man can still be killed. Why are you doing this? Make a successful escape from this place, and I'll explain. Escape. Gotta love the so that's losses. your game. Fine. I don't care what the world thinks of me. What matters is my vengeance against shouldn't. Sartorius. That's all. You can see the darkness in her eyes. I have shattered your yoke. We must hurry.
Like, I've played this far before, I just don't remember it. Cool. Really fucking weird. Everything's booking out on me, folks. I don't I'm not long for this world. In game or out game. Something in these fucking cells. Like right there. Silver coins in here. You will need equipment. There are weapons in the room ahead. No one raised the alarm. I can see that. Take what you need from here. If you insist. It looks like they kept prisoners' effects in here. Rope. This will be useful. Quite a blade. I know that sword. Stormhowl. What is it doing here? Well. It's too big for me. You're not taking it? It's a celebrated <laughs> masterpiece. And if I can't use it, it's worthless. Oh my. The new threads. All right. Are you ready then? Still revealing. <laughs> What's going on here? Be careful. Hello, random He's no ordinary soldier. He's an exorcist orderly. Bitch! Burning wings! Yeah. 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 I'm not sure she still has her shit. Oh, yeah. 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 You didn't even flinch. I already told you. I am his Moloch no longer. Already then. Is there a ship waiting? So you already know we're on an island. Yes. I've learned that this is a prison island for violent criminals, and that there are scores of demons locked away here. Demons say lots of things when they don't want you to eat them. The prison has docks at both the front and rear entrances. Our ship is on the back side. Got it. The back docks. Come on! Alright. 
Yeah, so, as you folks can probably tell, um, I'm making these videos, um, progressively longer, um, so, I don't know, I, I really don't want to do, like, a two-hour video, one, I'll probably get restless, this is a good game, I just get restless too easily, and, uh, two, I don't know how long they should be, really, so, so, I'm gonna end this one here, I'm gonna, I'm thinking about ending them around when I find a new save point, like here, kind of makes things easier. So, yeah, I'll just go ahead and end it here, and, um, yeah, just stay tuned for the next one. Alright, so y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.